Hello everybody and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. My name is Twister and today we have something really really special. So, a fellow streamer slash YouTuber by the name of ArbaZ actually made a puzzle map. I haven't seen anything that's inside this building but apparently they are three rooms with three puzzles in them. And it's... we're gonna actually give it a go. This is the first time I've ever seen anyone make a puzzle map in Scrap Mechanics. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Let's see what is this all about. So we, this opens the door. That's fairly simple. I could use this, but I will not actually use this to cheat. I will try to, like, do everything on my own. So what what does this do? Not connected? Oh. They said something. Not connected? This one is connected or not? Okay, so only this one is actually connected to something. That... Oh, okay, that opened the door. Interesting. All right. Now, oh, oh, we have a sensor here. Is this some kind of? This is some kind of maze. Okay, so we are in a maze now. So the trick to beating mazes is to always stick to one wall because if you always stick to one wall, you will reach the end. But that's not possible because we have a little pole here. But we can continue sticking to here. Just stick to the wall. We should reach the end as long as it is a proper maze. As long as it goes from the outside, not from the inside. We can just stick to the right wall. I have to be careful because there may... Oh. Did I hear something? I didn't hear it. I thought I heard something. I guess I did not. Oh, that's... that's. Oh, I see you there. Sneaky little devil. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, that's probably the wrong option. Okay, this one opens the door. This one actually is... Okay, this will actually just do this. Okay, that will not help me at all. Is there something below there? I don't know. I'll just leave this closed. Okay, this switches the wall, so to, to, what do I need to do with it? I guess this would be fine. But we can see the edges of there, of the screens, just because uh, we're actually going into the block with our camera, because this is a very, very thin cord. Now I'm kind of completely lost in this place. Uh, but we are... If we just continue... Oh, I see something. Barely. This opens something somewhere. I like this quite a bit. Okay. Where? Oh, this is the same button than before, right? Yeah, this one is already turned on. So I'm guessing we need to either go over here, or we need to flip that switch back the way it was. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's something over here. Hmm. This is that old area where we were like before. This opens something. This opened this door, right? I think, yeah, yeah, this is new. And we have this button, which closed the door. Okay, which allows me to go in here now, which, oh, it has. It has like a little corridor here. What is that for? Why is there a hole here? Why is there a hole here? Is something supposed to be there? I don't know. We haven't actually experimented. Okay, we were here before, right? Yeah, we were here like a minute ago. That does that. Okay, okay, what if we now go over here and try to like push this button again? Okay. I think we may have got it. Maybe not. There's like a secret button somewhere around here. Let's see. Oh, something on the ceiling, maybe? Ah, uh, there's like a... There's some room over there. Okay, what if we press this one now? Will that do anything for us? I don't... I think that's the only thing it it does. I could turn them on my, like, wire tool. What if we, like, do this? That maybe does something else. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly. We're kind of lost in the maze. Man, I'm not a big fan of mazes. This is actually quite cool, though. Because there's switches and buttons and whatnot. But it's it's very, very disorienting. Where I'm completely stuck here somehow. Okay, that opens and closes that. Hmm. What if we, like, open this? And what if we, like... Can we get stuck, actually? I don't know. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do? Maybe. Now we are back in the beginning of the maze. If we just go over here, we were here before, right? And there is nothing over here. There is a little curious like hole in the wall up there. I wonder why that's for. Oh, but there's like something over here. I can see it like to the walls. There is a button over here that's not turned on. 
to find a way to reach that somehow. Okay, this is probably the exit over here. How do we reach that? What does this do? Like, if we do that, that that did something over here. Did that open this path for me now? It's where I were, like... This was, was like a minute ago. Okay, this is now closed. What did that do? That... Oh, there's a button over here that is turned on right now. I actually completely lost... Oh, did I miss this one? I think I missed this one. Okay, that did something loud. It closed this door, and I can't access anything over here. But there is like a little hole here. I feel like there's, there's supposed to be something in this area, but maybe that's just like for... to be the rite of passage. Because this is like barely visible. Maybe I'm, maybe, maybe I'm actually missing a button over there. Let's actually see quickly. Maybe I'm missing something on the ceiling, because I'm not really looking up at all. Uh, is there like a button here? I don't think there's a button here. What if you crouch? Oh yeah. That's the trick. I forgot you couldn't crouch. That totally opened that up. Alright, I feel like a dummy now, but I feel also quite kind of smart because I figured that out. Because you never actually use crouching in this game. Yeah, that's a lot easier actually. You never actually use crouching in scrap mechanic because it's not really necessary. There's like no sneaking that you need to actually... It's not easy to reach stuff, but usually you don't ever use that. At least not... At least I don't use it ever. Um... That opens something. Okay, now... Oh, th that's new. I need to open something over here. Still not like a full passage, but what, what will this do? Hmm. Oh, we have a thing. Oh, we have a wall here. Hello there. Okay, that was promising. Is that a timer? Is it on a timer? I don't know. That's sounds promising though. This is all closed now. We have another button here. And we'll actually be able to exit through this door now. This is new. Oh, we have a sensor here. Yes. Open up. Open sesame. Run out. Oh, we did it. Oh, that feels so good. 22. What is 22 for? Okay, what does this do? I feel like this is a scanner. I think we need to like... Okay, this... Okay, this tries to like go into the holes. But it cannot. So we need to like move these. What what do these do? Okay, these... We need to type in 22 somehow. How do we type in 22? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay, 22. So, which is... So they all, like, rotate at different angles. Why is the 22 there? Alright, so I think I actually know what you need to do. So these... To find a way to rotate. So these, like, rotate all ones to the... I think this one rotates all of them. Okay, they're not actually... Okay, this is the first one. Second one. Third one. Okay, so we need to like find a way with these. The fifth one should rotate the, the the pole. Yeah, it does. With these five buttons, we need to position this one to be uh, to have the opening at the top. So let's actually see. What if we turn them all on? What happens then? Okay, that kind of works. Not really though. You need to like move it a few blocks to the side. Okay, that works. Okay, that's the correct solution for that one. So we need to find another solution for this other one now. So what if we like... Okay, that's a small increment. That's a big increment. That's a quick rotation. That's a wrong direction. That's irrelevant now. So we have probably these two. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so these are now for the... Yeah, okay, for the other one. Okay, that one is like... You need a small increment. Uh, that moves it slightly. So we have like we have like four knobs here. This one moves it to the wrong direction slightly, and this should move it a lot. Yeah, move it a lot. What if we like turn all of these on? That's a bit overkill. So that's not enough. That's 
the wrong direction. Is that? I think that's. I think that's good. Okay, so we had like, where we need to like modify like that one now, which is okay. That's that one. All right. So we have like one, two, three, four knobs. Let's actually turn them all on. That's a lot of spinning, actually. Okay, that's. Uh, let you back. Oh, that's the wrong direction, maybe. Okay, what if we like turn this on, then we like turn this one on, and then turn this one off, turn this one on. Oh no 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 no! We need to turn this one on, move it a bit. Okay, that seems correct to me. And we have the last uh last five. All right, so we need to like spin it back. That's the wrong direction. That's. I think we need to like turn it maybe all all them on. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we like do this. And slightly to the side. That's too far. That's too far. What if we like turn this one on and turn all of these like rotators on and then did this one too, which is not an overkill. So this one puts it back and it needs to move it slightly. What if I move it back a little bit more and then move it slightly? Oh, that's actually fine, I think. I think that's the correct solution. Let's see. That totally works. Awesome. Feels so smart. So that's two puzzles taken care of. I think there's one more. Okay, this could be a simple jumping puzzle, maybe? I think this one is just a simple jumping course. What, what does this do? This allows me to get back. Okay. That's good to know. So these will move if this is their non, right? Alright, let's see what happens if we do that. Uh Okay. Can we actually jump on these? We can jump here. How do we get higher though? That's the question. Um That's the question indeed. How do we oh wait, wait, like, can we like reach this thing over here maybe? I don't know, maybe, uh, like, jump over here, and then just, hmm, I think, I think it actually it's doable, but it's, it's hard, especially since it's lagging a little bit because of all the movement, oh, 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 okay, we got it, okay, we got it, but we need to, like, be more careful, what if I not, what if I don't sprint instead, that's not reachable then, okay, oh, okay, Crouching does save me, I think, I think, from walking off. Does it save me from walking off? Okay, it does not. I had to try that just to be super safe. Okay, crouch. Good. Where to now? You can go into the hole over there. I don't think we can reach that, though. Nah, I don't even do what would we do from there. Because it doesn't allow us to do anything, does it? it doesn't, maybe there's a button over here. Yeah, there's a button. I can probably like, even reach from here, maybe. I can reach from here, but that, that would be cheating, so let's actually not cheat. I don't like cheating. Let's actually just try to do it legit. If we feel like if we feel like too many times, we're gonna do it legit. Okay. Maybe there's a better solution for this. I don't think there is, though. Maybe I'm missing something really obvious, but I feel like this is fairly doable. You know what? Let's actually. Oh, we have something here. Hello, Ducky. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I was missing something really obvious. All right, good to know. Good to know. So well, can we actually just turn these off? We we'll continue moving. They'll stay put. All right, they'll stay put. Did I miss something over here, maybe? Uh, there seems like to be... Oh, it's just a staircase. I don't think there's anything over here. Oh, God, don't, don't, don't get stuck, please. All right. Okay. Crap. It's difficult because there's no way to like stop yourself from sliding on the block, like in Minecraft, for example. Because in Minecraft, you can just uh, hold Shift. Is it Shift? Is it Control? I think it's I think it's Shift. Yeah, Shift to crouch, and that will prevent you from falling off of blocks, which cannot be done here. Oh crap! I didn't jump in time. Okay, this is gonna be a bit tricky. Of course, please don't jump. Okay, let's just leave these the way they are. Of course, I fell down. A dummy. All right. No, 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 no. Okay. 
Come on. I'm, I'm, you can see me like spazzing into the walls a little bit because I'm getting stuck on it when I'm running. That happened. That's the that's a bug with scrap mechanic, not the map. Of course, you have to jump if you want to actually do something. Remember that, Twisted. You have to use your jump button. That, oh, that, that was really close, though. I'm really tempted to just place blocks down and cheat, but I, I don't want to do it. Okay, that was not far enough. Is is there a better solution to this? Can I actually do something with it here? I don't think we can. Uh, what does this actually do? This makes him rotate. This makes the door open. What if we close the door? We could jump on the door, but I think this is like the best option right now. Because this seems okay. This seems really doable, but also really tricky. The platforms are so freaking small. Okay, good, we got it. That gave us another platform, which is awesome. I fell down, of course. We can go back. All right, let's see if we just do... Okay. Yeah, this game was is not really optimized for like parkour and whatnot. Okay, so we are up here. Cannot reach the button, it seems, from to the beams. That's unfortunate. What do we do now? Why is the point? What's the point of this? I guess we just continue like onwards in this direction. Oh, don't fall down. Careful. We jump over here. I bet there's a button over there. So let's just do that. That gave me what? What did that give me? That gave me that platform. Okay. Can I actually get to that platform somehow? I don't know. I don't think I can jump from here. I cannot jump from there. Can I jump across this thing? I can, and I can jump into the little cove here. What did that do? That will raise another platform. Okay, good to know. And I can then go back over here. Oh, gonna fall down, of course. But it's fine, we have like, I think we have half of it done already, which is awesome. Let's do this. I'm getting better at this. I'm getting some practice. So is this one new? I think this one is new. No, it's not new. But can we actually reach this? We can reach this, like that. Is that how it's supposed to be? I think that's how it's... No, I think we actually need to like, extend this one, but we can just reach from here. That opens the exit. Is that how it's supposed to be done? I don't think that's how it's supposed to be done. So we're not gonna push it. Can we jump from there to there? I think it's... I feel like it's too high. But maybe it's not too high. Maybe it's just the right height. I'm gonna give it one good one try. <laughs> one successful one, one try with a successful first jump, of course. Alright. Hmm. Careful now. No, you cannot make that jump. The jump cannot be made. Oh, you know what? If I turn them on, will it, will it go to the default position? They will go to the default position. No, they will go to their last position. Okay. Okay, I see. They go to their previous position when they are... Okay. Alright, so this... Does this help me at all? It, I think that's how it's supposed to be done, right? But we still need to reach that thing, which is going to be trickier than this thing. But we can now jump over there, right? Yeah. Which means absolutely nothing to us, honestly, because, I mean, what's the point in this thing? What's the point in this thing? We need to get up there somehow. How do we get up there? We can, like, access that button over there. What if we... The doors? Just open the doors. This just opens this, as far as I can tell. It doesn't open anything else. Right, yeah, okay. So what if we like, keep rotating this button? It also moves the other platform. So I'm guessing actually if we let it move to the... to go all the way to the right... No, oh, let's keep it moving. I don't know. We need to get it to the right position. Like... that... Okay, I love this man. This is this is so cool. I wonder how it's done. I could like check it with the, check it with the the tool. 
the connector tool once I'm done. I keep getting smacked into the wall, which is unfortunate. Of course, jumping is difficult, as I mentioned. Okay. Alright, we, we're here. Now we can jump over here. Then over here. Then over here. Okay, oh god, okay. Um... We got there. How do we get further along? How do we get over here into this area? I wonder, is there actually like a trick here to can use to just get up there? Because I don't see how this is doable unless there. I guess actually the wall opens up. Uh, that's my guess right now. I could be totally wrong though. Of course, I fell down. It's so difficult to aim in scrap mechanic. Okay. Uh, crap. Can't see my feet at all. Can't see my shadow either. Okay. Oh, balls to the walls. I'm so pissed right now. Okay, this is actually a lot longer than I expected. Especially because this is taking me so long to get correctly. Okay. Believe. Believe in the heart of the scrap mechanic. Okay, we did it, kind of. What now? We can jump over there, which is useless to us. We gotta jump over here, right? And we gotta jump up here. We gotta jump over here. And oh, we just miss it, like, so, ever so slightly. Alright, we are here. I think we need to jump all the way over there. Let's give that a go. Yes, okay, we, we already pushed this button. Which opens up the door. Okay, so that that's we did that, that thing legit. Okay, so now I think we need to actually like cross that over, and maybe we can like, make this jump over there. Oh man, I don't know if we can make that. I think we actually probably can. All right, let's give it another. Go. Oh, don't fall down. Let's give it another go. Okay, we can make it totally. Oh, this extends that, which allows us to do what exactly? How does that help us in any way, shape, or form? How do we get up there? Oh, I bet we can, like, do this. Okay, I bet we could like, climb up there. Then jump over there and then get to that thing over there. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, I think we got it. I'm gonna actually just uh, try to get up there again. And then uh, do everything around. Be right back. Okay, we are at the peak of serenity. Let's go here and let's go here. Okay, that was actually... Oh, the ceiling is actually really close. Is the ceiling supposed to be this close? I don't know. Oh, God. Really? That's gonna be really frustrating to actually just do the jumping correctly. Um, I'm... Should I cheat? I should not cheat. I feel like I want to cheat. I'm gonna actually... No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cheat. Uh, yeah, I, cause I, 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 I'm I, like, uh, I just wanna, like, get up here somehow. Let's use the lift to get up. If we can... Cannot actually get all the way up there, so... But basically, we actually sold the entire puzzle, we just need to, like, do the jumping correctly. So I'm gonna actually just jump to the exit, because I don't wanna, like, spend all your time jumping around. Be right back. All right, I made it all the way here. Now we just have to like fall down and sensors turn on. Yeah, we had radios on. I think that's the ending. I think that's it. I don't think there's gonna be anything else here. Uh, what do these sensors actually turn on? They turn on the radios. This one turns all the radio. So that's, that's it. We can actually look at the map. Oh, that's, there's a lot of wires here, as you may <laughs> have noticed. It's kind of crazy. If you want to play this map for yourself, uh, you can download it at the link in the description. And uh, man, I suggest you do. I bet there's going to be a lot of awesome scrap mechanic uh, maps. This is actually really cool. I love this so much. This is insanely, insanely cool, and I love it. It's it's so good. It's awesome. Great job. Great, great job. But yeah, I'm going to actually end this video here. If you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. It's a great, great deal. More than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again, thank you guys much for watching. My name is Ben Twisted from Hyderabad Games. Now we'll see you next time.